airsoft, airsoft, airsoft. This channel, welcome by the way, is going to be about airsoft. No frills reviews. I'm not interested in unboxing videos. I'm not interested in what's in the box, unless there's a specific tool or something interesting that comes with it. All I'm interested in is the airsoft guns. And the main premise of this channel is to find out whether they work or not. Now every single gun I'm going to review I have owned for at least three months and have used extensively with at least three or four thousand rounds going through it each time. I'm not going to tell you what I think until I've put it through that sort of use. Otherwise there's no point. Um, but anyway, that's what the channel's about. Hope you find it interesting. Anyway, so first things first. First gun we're looking at, a classic. 19, the M1911 A1. America's first standardised legendary Colt 45 military sidearm. This one is by um, Army Armaments. Now in terms of what you get, now I've replaced the grips on these, I didn't like the plastic ones. They weren't bad, but they weren't, they weren't good either. So I got rid of these. These are real steel ones. So it is compatible with real steel grips and things like that, which is always good to know. Um, the gun itself, all the markings are correct, are present and correct. Um, US Army product, US government, um, Colt 1911, 45 patent marks. Every marking that's on there, is, as it should be on there, is there. There are no Airsoft brand markings on there at all, which I like. Anyway, that's the cosmetics out the way. Right, controls. Slide release or slide drop. Good, solid release. Releases with authority, as they say. Um, now, the other thing to remember about Army Armaments guns, and I've discovered this with just about every Army Armaments gun I have bought or shot. Do not put a magazine into the gun unless the slide is locked back. If you per insert a magazine on a dropped slide, there is every possibility that when you click it up into place, you'll break the feed nozzle, the feed, the feed arm on the bottom of the gas block. I've had a few guns do that and I've learned the lesson the hard way. So I'm telling you now, do not put a magazine in unless the slide is locked back. Nice. Magazines go in really, really nicely. This is a standard one. Flush fitting on the bottom. The thing I like about it as well is just like the real thing, you have to click it in place. Well, it's just one of those things I like, to be honest. Right. These are MEU magazines from Raven. They fit. They work. They're about the same capacity in terms of BBs as the Army Armaments one. A little, this one's a little bit stiffer, but they're both from two different guns, but they still work. Um, with the gun itself, you get a tool, a takedown tool. And we won't bother with taking this down, we'll do separate videos about takedown. But it's good that you get a proper steel takedown tool. And apparently they will work with real steel as well. It's a nice piece of kit. So, there we go. Controls. Magazine on a locked back slide. Slide release, nice and solid. You have two safeties. You have the thumb safety and you have the grip safety. A hammer, usual sights. They're, us they're usable, but they are basic 1911 open sights. Um, right, so the magazine release is fine. Sorry, magazine release is fine. Slide release is fine. Now the safeties work. For instance, we've we'll popped the safety on. You cannot fire it. It won't fire. It's entirely locked up. But the grip safety works as well. So even with the, sa the thumb safety off, you cannot fire it until you depress the grip safety. Lock back, brilliant. Nice and solid and firm. Drop the magazine. Feed another magazine in. You're good to go. 
So again, safeties work, which is a good point in its favour. Grip safety works. There we are. Right, let's go and shoot it.